that the one introducing people to the woman. I'm not introducing anyone because when the woman came to my shop, she would meet the other woman. All of them used to come to my shop. You understand? I did not introduce anybody to anybody. I don't know that he's collecting money to us on Sunday that or not everything. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is your name? Sister Glory Maxwell. Sister Glory Maxwell. How are you doing, Sister Glory? I'm fine. You are fine. Beautiful. I can see you're really looking beautiful. What did you do? My dear, I collected money. You collected money? Yes. How much did you collect? Total of 900,000. 900,000? Yes. How did you meet them? I met them in the church. Okay. So for how long have you been working on the street of Zion Ministry? I've been in Zion. This is my fourth year in Zion. This is your fourth year in Zion? My fourth year. Fourth your year. fourth year? Yes, So which means you have been a member for a while? Yes, ma. So what kind of member are you? Have you ever heard the prophet talking about nobody should take money from anyone to see him and all of that? Yeah, I've heard all those things. Okay. But I don't know So why. the first time you lady from UK, uh, 300,000, right? Yes. What did you tell her? The only thing I did was, uh, when she gave me that money, Okay. when she called me, uh, I said they want to... Uh, Go to Seraphic Foundation that that she will want to see whether she will from there and see daddy. Okay. So I told her, I said she wants to go to Seraphic Foundation. That they used to put money in the envelope. You put a passport. I said it's through that passport that they used to see somebody. But does he see somebody through passport? That's a lie now. You you know that was. So why were you why were you behaving like that? I'm eh? sorry. Okay, so and after that one again, it's not enough. You still went ahead again, right? You went ahead. To collect money from one that person again, yes. 600,000. Yes. So how come you sold it down from a member here? Is it good? My dear, this one I was in, I was in the church uh -huh. when they called me. Okay. So the lady called me. Uh, I'm hearing you. And gave me the envelope. Okay. That they, they have been looking for a way to give it to, to daddy, that they uh, want to see daddy. Yes. So... Was our... But when they gave you their money, you should have it should have directed them to the officials. So you took it's the money. It's temptation. Temptation. I swear. That is the two people. Okay, just three hundred and three hundred k you took. Yeah, it's the three hundred and the six hundred thousand. So for how long have you been a Zion member? For four years. Yes, yes. Have you been listening to the preaching of the prophet? I have been. You have? Yes, ma'am. So what put into this act? I don't know, my sister. The first one you don't know, the second one you even don't know. This one, let me say it. Even this one, I don't know. Look at my body, even a whole best woman like me. I see crayfish in the market and pomo. But the prophet has been announcing since. And you said you are the peer to the prophet. You are the peer to the prophet. Because I have been here four years. Uh, Nobody has said anything about me. What about your husband? What about your husband? <laughs> he said he's not coming. He's not coming? Yes. Where do you live? I live at Ikotu. Ikotu? Yes. So all the way from Ikotu, you came down here to do people for their hard earned money? Church. You came to church? Yes. Wow. Yeah, you really I was a good Zion member. They came to call and me. you love Zion Ministry too, so well. I swear. Don't you think that this thing you're doing is polluting the name of Zion Ministry and again, the prophet's name? Because he always said that he doesn't take money from people. But you're coming to collect money from them and the end up not seeing the prophet. How about that? I'm very sorry. Eh? I'm very sorry. You are very sorry. So have you been able to return the money to them? My love. Eh? I have eaten the money. But if they can give me a month, I'll pay the money. What do you do for a living? I deal on OK. OK, yes. Where did you sell it? Formerly, I was at a cotton market. So after a cotton market, I don't have money again to pay for the shop. OK. So I carry it and hope that I make sales. So what brought you into this act? My dear, this is what I'm telling you. I don't know. You don't know. And the first one was 300k was not enough. Now 600k. My dear, I don't know. If you ask me to you tomorrow, I don't know. Since I traveled and came back, I to travel to where? To I village. Chief. I saw I stole crayfish in the market. See my body. I what happened to your body? They beat but me. who beat you? The people I stole the crayfish from. In the market? Yes. But the, the police here and the security zone have never touched. Have anybody beaten you so far? They didn't beat you. Nobody, Nobody has beaten you. Okay. Are you expecting oh, from us? My dear, I am begging. I am begging. If it's to me, I am begging. They should give me one month. Yes. I will pay the money. They should give you one month. You I pay will the money. Suffer. Maybe let the officers come. They know my house. I will take undertaking. I will pay the money. So, do you have anybody that is accompanying you on this mission? The only person I used to give money when I collect money is Mr. Theophilus. Mr. 
Tio Fellows. Yes. Where is Mr. Tio Fellows? Is he a Zion member? No, 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 no. Mr. Tio Fellows, he asked you where you get the money from. Oh. He doesn't know how you get the money. He knows so he not these two people. Actually. He introduced me to that man. Okay, introduce you yes, yes, to the man. Yes. He was the one who called you to, you took me to the man. Yes, he introduced you to the man. So the man you can dupe the man and collect money, right? Hey, madam. My name is Kevin Deliman. And Yes. Wow. Okay, um, what can you say about the current happenings now? The only thing I can say is that I don't know anything about all these things that are happening. Yeah. What I know is that one day, that was on Sunday. This woman called me. It was that man that called me. And I said that, uh, that Daddy Buka, this woman called him. Daddy Buka said that he see vision on the other woman's head. When he said I should give her the other woman number, I said, what do you want to call the woman for? She did not open up to me. Hey, you are the one introducing people to the woman. I'm not introducing anyone because when the woman came to my shop, she would meet the other woman. All of them used to come to my shop. You understand? I did not introduce anybody to anybody. I don't know that he's collecting money. It was on Sunday that I don't know everything. I don't know that he's collecting money from anybody. What do you but do for a living? I'm selling something here. I don't know that this, the woman is like this. So what are you telling Zion that are watching you now? I said they should be sorry for me. They should sorry for me. They should have mercy upon me. Okay. I say, oh, Zion and I all over the world. Uh, Please, they should have mercy upon me. But I don't know what I am doing. Please.